Hi and welcome to the channel. My name is Tony and in today's video we're going to actually take a look at this vertical cable punch down tool and use it for the very first time. So if this is your first time visiting the channel, please hit subscribe and hit that little bell so that you're alerted to when I release new content. So I picked up this vertical cable keystone punch down tool. It's a rather large tool as you can see. It does have a cutter to cut your cable down here, but its primary use is to place a keystone jack up in the top and then just punch down and cut off all eight conductors in one shot. So I saw this on Mac Telecom Network's channel. So thank you, Cody, for this. And let me just say, as soon as I saw it, I had just punctured my hand with a traditional punch down tool. So when I saw Cody mention this tool, I said, I got to have it. The problem is, though, I never went ahead and did my due diligence to realize that it uses a proprietary keystone jack. So. When I first got the tool, I went and I grabbed one of my regular keystone jacks and tried to punch it down and it just wouldn't work. So let me see if I can get a close up for you here. So it's going to be hard for you to see. But here's the vertical cable keystone tool. Here's a traditional keystone jack. If I hold them side by side, again, it's probably difficult for you to see between the lighting and the fact that the vertical cable jack is black, but they are quite different. In any event, what we are going to do is, since the new keystones arrived, we're actually going to do an actual punch down here for the very first time. So I prepared a cable. I have, I crimped an RJ45 male connector on the one end, and then I have the vertical cable keystone on this end. So we're gonna go ahead, and I, I'm, I promise you, this is the first time I'm doing this. I have not tried the tool. One of the key things is make sure you have the jack seated all the way in the tool. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a crimp and see what happens. Okay, so it cut off all the cables. I'm just gonna give it another squeeze. And there you go. So it looks like it did a really nice crimp. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this tester here. Let me just see if I can zoom in just a little. I apologize if the camera shakes. We'll go ahead and we'll test it and we'll see if we got a, a successful punch down and crimping. So we'll put that end in there. We'll put this cable in the other side of the tester. And we'll plug the cable inside the newly crimped keystone jack. Let's see if I can spin this around so you can see the tester. So I'm going to go ahead and press the test button. And you can see that it did pass the test. Let me see if I can get a closer look. So there you go. That was pretty quick and simple, wouldn't you say? By the way, please hit that like button. It lets YouTube know that you like what I'm doing here on the channel. I really would appreciate it. By the way, those vertical cable keystone jacks are slightly more expensive than the traditional jacks that I normally buy, say $1.92 a piece versus $1.30 a piece. However, if I'm going to save time and be able to punch down a keystone jack in one shot rather than having to do eight individual conductors, the time I'm going to gain to me is worth the extra expense. If you found any value in today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos posted up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. And as always, I want to thank you for using my Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. Again, my name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, please stay safe. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.